Turkey. There is dwarf planet Pluto somewhere on this picture. Hi everyone, this is George Kankov, an amateur astronomer, and in this video I'll be taking a picture of a dwarf planet Pluto through my telescope. Pluto is a dwarf planet that was discovered by an American astronomer, Clyde Tomba, in 1930. Until 2006, Pluto was known as the ninth planet of our solar system. But in September 2006, the International Astronomical Union excluded Pluto and reclassified it as a dwarf planet. Pluto's reclassification from planet to dwarf planet received a lot of publicity and uh, hit the like button if you want to hear more about that story and I'll record a separate video about it. Pluto lies more than 4.5 billion kilometers away from our Sun. It's a small object that even smaller than our Moon. Pluto has only two-thirds of the diameter of our Moon. The year on Pluto lasts about 248 Earth years, which also means that even a year hasn't passed on the Pluto since the planet's discovery in 1930. This is the best image of Pluto we had until 2015. This image was created based on Hubble Space Telescope observations, and in 2015, with the help of New Horizons spacecraft, our civilization saw Pluto's surface in detail for the very first time, and there are some pictures that New Horizon got during Pluto's flyby in July 2015. Hold on a second. We just saw a picture of Pluto from the Hubble Space Telescope that is located in Earth orbit in space. So how am I going to take a picture of Pluto using my amateur gear that is located at the front yard on Earth's surface? Well, of course I won't be able to get something close to Hubble Space Telescope. Furthermore, I'll not be able to even get a picture of Pluto's globe. However, I can do the same thing that Clyde Tomba did in 1930. I'll take a picture of a small area in the night sky where Pluto has to be located, and Pluto will appear as a small star that shines together with the other objects. To capture Pluto, I'll be using my 6-inch Newton Reflector Telescope that is mounted on the GQ5 Pro mount, and I'll be using my old DSLR camera Canon T2i for capturing pictures. I'm planning to take like 20 seconds of exposure subs and stack them later to get a better quality picture. And since I'm not taking long exposures, I won't be using an outer guiding that I would normally use for taking long exposure pictures. Alright, so it's almost 9 p.m. and let's point a telescope at the area in the night sky where Pluto has to be located, which is the Sagittarius constellation. And since I'm controlling the telescope from my laptop, I just have to click a few buttons in order to point uh, the telescope in the specific area in the night sky, and uh, I'm gonna do it right now. Okay, so the capturing session is running now, and as I told you earlier, Pluto will look like a star in the final picture. So how am I going to prove that a specific star in the picture is a dwarf planet Pluto? To be sure I've detected Pluto, I have to show it's moving, unlike the background stars that are located far, far away from us and kind of fixed at one position during a long period of time. So yeah, I'm taking a picture of a specific area of Sagittarius constellation now, and I'll take a new sequence of pictures two or three hours later. I'm not sure if my telescope will be able to show that movement during three hours of observations, and if I don't see Pluto's movement, I'll take a new sequence of pictures another day, so that I will see that planet moves for sure, and I'll be able to say with confidence that I took a picture of Pluto using my amateur gear. Well, let's see how it's gonna be. Hello again, now it is the next day, September 3rd, and I'm finishing processing pictures now and I got some good news. I was able to catch Pluto's movement yesterday, so I have enough data to share with you guys. And now it's time to see how dwarf planet Pluto look like through an amateur telescope.
seen the movement of dwarf planet Pluto in the night sky. Uh, this planet appears as a dot of light that looks exactly the same as many different stars you'd seen on these pictures. Yet, just think that behind the star is a whole world that moves around the Sun, as our planet Earth moves around it. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I have more interesting videos about amateur astronomy and astrophotography coming. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in future videos, and until then, clear skies!